Angelo Pais, Angelo Pace. Uh, we are at Taligaon today. This is your village? No, no. No? I'm from Kalangu. Oh, okay, okay. But the settled, other side. The other yeah, side. Settled in Tonka. Tonka. Close to here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very close. Very close. What's the theme of today's talk, in short? Uh, today I'm going to talk about cucurbits and beans. Cucurbits in the sense? Yeah. About planting them, what they are. That's a family of... Uh, of uh, gods, really. Gods. Yeah, all gods are ranging from cubits. From any, anywhere to anything, starting from the smallest thinly, thinly ivy gourd, right up to the biggest pumpkin and all that. Bitter gourd, snake gourd, everything in between. Yes, yes, all, all included. In that. Which is the best for Goa? In fact, most of them, except those ones which are not originally grown here. Yeah. Like those things I mean, you see with Europe, USA, and all that. Except those, all the other ones which are normally grown here. Very good weather. Easy? Easy to grow? Yes, yes. Very, very easy. In fact, very, very easy. And you can grow them all through the year. You are always optimistic. I don't know whether you are just good at it or whether... No, no. It's, your... it's a fact. It's very easy. What's your background? My background, my God, what is it? I was studying for this school. Yeah. <laughs> I left. Rashal? Uh, yeah, Rashal. Puna, Papal Sanmari. Papal Sanmari. Along with our Archbishop. Archbishop. And Archbishop of Bangalore. Peter my daughter. Yeah, and uh, then after I left, I got into uh, teaching for five years. Where? In Kalangut. Uh, the People's High School. People's High School with Alexi and Claude and yes, company. Yes, yes, yes. The full gang. Oh, Josh yeah. Peter. Full gang. So yeah. you were one of those who came down from Bombay, no? No, no. You are the Bombay. local guy. Already. Kajitan, Kajitan Pereira. Kajitan Pereira, yes, yes. That's a story waiting to be told, no? <laughs> I was not when they started this. School. Okay. I joined later. Uh, five years I taught there. Then I got into uh, catering. Once I finished that, I got into catering, ran restaurants on contract, carried on till the year 2020. And now trees are and your passions. I said, enough is enough. You, you need a new field to keep yourself interested then in life. Stop making money. Okay. And let's start giving back to the universe. That's what I believe. And I got involved in charitable work and that. And then uh, once I said uh, I had a nice garden outside with a lawn yeah. and ornamental plants. Yeah. I said, oh, should I be sitting in my setup and watching these ornamental plants? Why not grow vegetables? Watch the bendies and the cucumbers and all that's growing. Enjoy the view and enjoy the good vegetables. And know that you're producing something. Exactly. Because without, without fertilizers, chemical fertilizers. And without chemical pesticides. So what's the range of crops you have today? Oh God, I think I have actually about 100 different Wow. Crops. More than Because then I moved to the first terrace, moved to the second terrace also. In so it can be replicated, you're saying? Yes, definitely, definitely. In what? fact, there's much more than what I have done that can be done. So what stops Goa from doing this? See, you know that all over the world, people are lazy. Inertia. People are lazy. Like a simple thing is, many people, they don't even want to grow their seeds. They want ready supply. What's the big thing in growing a seed? Yeah. You can get 10 seeds for 20 rupees. And of course, certain seeds you can get much more. But 10 seeds for 20 rupees, and yet you will pay about 30 rupees for a seedling. Best source for seeds today? Best source? For seeds. One is mine. <laughs> Yourself? Yeah, yeah. You also sell, no? Huh? You also sell? Yes, yes I do sell. And mine, are all, mine are all organically grown. People can contact you how? Yeah, or maybe my phone number. Number that is? 9822 4 I used to keep right on our seat. Sorry. 9822148244. 48244. Got it. So, so uh, apart from you, where, where would you recommend people buy seats from also? You can buy from the agriculture department, but that's as and when you get it. They're short in short on stock. Short in stock, all manipulated. Okay. <laughs> Okay. It goes, yeah. But then, from what I know, even the agriculture department, 
sources it from some others. But there is an element of subsidy there, so that's subsidy what makes it. There, yeah, but we don't know whether they are organically grown. Okay. That we don't know. Because I saw that they are brought from various places where we can. Are people in Goa doing enough to replicate uh, plantable seeds? No way. No way. Much more to be done. I see. But there are. But the good thing is that in the last few years, many people have started doing lovely. I see. Very good. That's the good thing. It started. Yeah. It has to progress, and then. Yeah. Green club like this, obviously they're going to encourage it. No? True. That's it. True. And there's something in Salset and there are all oh, yes, over the yes. place. And plenty, plenty. People are looking forward to it. I think the pandemic also taught us that. Oh yes, the food pandemic was a blessing in disguise. Food shortage is a reality, you know. You can just starve with Definitely. all the money in your pocket and very much, very much. nothing to buy. So like, nice. Yeah. Okay. So nice. Thank you, Angelo.